Hi, I'm Anna with Clifton Hall Farms. Today we're going to talk about um, stringing tomatoes rather than using a cage. We do have caged tomatoes in our garden, uh, but our preferred method is staking the tomatoes and using string to hold them together. You can tell that we have rows of string here that are holding the tomatoes together to create a wall. And I'm going to have Ethan talk a little bit more about that. If, if you think about it this way, a, de a determinate tomato has a determinate level of how high it's going to grow, you know. So it's, it's determined to only grow four feet high, five feet high. An indeterminate will just keep growing throughout its entire life cycle until frost, until um, like the frost kills it in the fall. So this method, especially, my stakes aren't very big with this, so these will, these tomatoes will grow up and I'll keep stringing them up to the top of the stake and then they'll probably flop over. Um, but a tomato in a cage is going to be able to stretch out a little bit more and get really bushy. Whereas a tomato that's strung up, especially an indeterminate tomato that doesn't stop growing, it's going to keep growing, 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 growing. If you have a stake that's pretty high and you can kind of keep stringing it up along that stake, it'll just form like a tomato wall, basically. And then you can come in right beside it when the plant's eight feet tall and just keep picking, picking, picking. It's kind of nice when the plant gets really tall because then you don't have to crouch down to pick. I um, mean, kind of pick tomatoes at, at eye level. Um, I st always string my tomatoes up like, you know how I put them like, I don't cage them. I put them like this. Um, in a row with stakes, and these are I think indeterminate tomatoes, so they'll get way too big for the stakes that are here. But that's okay, and it's not the end of the world. Um, but this technique is called the Florida stake and weave, or at least that's what I've heard it referred to as. And it's a really good way to string up tomatoes in the garden or a larger section of tomatoes, like you know a big block of tomatoes. Let me bring a string in here really close to the plants and then uh, kind of looks like you're brushing right up against them which you are let me put the string wrap the string around both the poles oh crap it's not over some far and see how it just like it straightens up those tomatoes so they don't flop over as much um, You never want to do it above where tomatoes aren't like peas. So you can't string above where the tomato plant actually is, or it won't like find its way. Quite like a pea plant would, you know, peas have like little runners and feelers that seek out anything above them. That's why you can have pea trellises that are quite large from the get-go, you just plant the peas under. It's a bummer, I'm not sure that's somewhere. It's okay. It's pretty. Yeah, you just make this really tight. You see, you just see how those plants are nice and tucked in now. They don't look like they're flopping at all. Oh yeah, it looks very nice. It's just nice and neat, and it allows you whenever I planted these plants pretty close together, and it'll allow over time for me to be able to get in here and harvest, for me to be able to get in here and weed, and still maintain a pretty good density. I only planted these, these rows are only a couple, two and a half feet apart or so. 